practice. So first up, if you're taking the exam in Georgia, which I know a lot of you are, they have decided that it will be an open book exam for the Georgia essays. So obviously the performance test is not open book. You don't need it to be. It's, I mean, I guess it is already open book in terms of they give you all the law. Um, and the MBE questions are not open book. So the NCBE is definitely not okay with people taking any portion of their exam open book. So just for the essays in Georgia, it will be open book. But very importantly, they also turned it down to 30 minutes instead of 45 for each essay. So now in Georgia, you've got three essays and there'll be 30 minutes instead of the four, one performance test, and then 100 MBEs. So a significantly shorter exam than you're used to in Georgia. Yeah. The, you know, there's a couple of implications to that. The first is from a testing construction standpoint, when you have fewer questions, your test becomes less reliable. This is why 200 questions is considered the gold standard for multiple choice and typically why you want six essays if they're a half hour in length each. The length of the, the essay actually impacts reliability. And so when you cut down the test in half, which is what they've done, it's half a test. Does that mean it's half as reliable? No, it's not a one-to-one -one analysis, but it clearly is less reliable. Now, when you add to that the uh, decision to make it open book, I think the examiners are acknowledging a couple of things. One is the bar exam is not about how much law you know. Would you agree? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just not that, that that's just not the case. And I know some people who will be listening later on the podcast are going to say, oh, no, no, it's got to be about how many elements and how many rules I can memorize. Really? It's open book. You know, how important is that really to the examiners? I, so what is it that the examiners are interested in, in your view, in these essays, if it's not how much law you memorize? Your analysis, your legal analysis. And the examiners have not been shy about, they've been very upfront about that for years and years, that that's what they care about, is they care about your your legal analysis, your ability to reason and think critically on these essays. That is what they are testing on these essays. They are not testing if you remember the five elements of this or the exact special wording for that rule, mm -hmm. it's yeah. not what they care about. Yeah, it's, that, it's a sad time in big box bar review land because <laughs> they, they got nothing, folks. I mean, you know, their whole their whole shtick is built on memorize and recite. And all of a sudden, the examiners say, okay, open the book and read it. We don't care. Right. You know, it, it, word for word from, your, from whatever book you want to study from. <laughs> So if you're an issue spotter with a half an hour essay, what are you going to do? Write all the elements and all the rules? I, there's not enough time, right? So as a result, I mean, this, this just leans right into everything that we've been saying for so long. First of all, the quality of your writing really matters. The FLA writing system that we teach is designed to be concise and to the point and to talk about legal analysis. And that's what it does. It's not issue spotting. It's not whack-a-mole. You know, it's not uh, find how many rules you can recite and dump on the page. You do that in Georgia on this exam, I'm pretty sure you're going to fail. At least yeah. fail that part of the test. Anyone could do that in Georgia now. I mean, literally, yeah. any applicant yeah. is going to get the same law. I mean, word for word, probably every single applicant is going to have the same law. So if you're planning on uh, if I memorize an attack outline and I memorize the rules and the elements and the tests and that's how I'm going to pass it, what is there to distinguish you from literally every other applicant on the board? Yeah, yeah. So I feel really good that we've never told our students to memorize. Right. Now, here's the other advantage. Why are studying? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here's the other great advantage our students have, and I cannot, I cannot say this loudly enough, I suppose. We've been teaching you to mind map for your notes. I just want you to take a minute and sit back and think, what would it be like, what will it be like when you get an essay question and you go, oh, torts. Great. And you open up your mind maps for torts. And there you have on a set of pages that you've either made up or printed out the entire topology of the subject with the, the rules and elements right there, but also the application of them and the relationships. You'll be able to write your essay without having to open your bar review outline books at all, but just working from your mind maps. And by using the writing system that, that we teach, you've got the ability to do it quickly and concisely. But I specifically would say if you are now in Georgia and you're taking an open book exam, 
I think hopefully this convinces you that it's not about memorization. And so, you know, if you want to talk about what's going to distinguish your writing is going to be your analysis. And so if you're having a hard time with that, if you're writing FLA style, but your application paragraphs are two sentences, three sentences, you need to talk to me. Like we need to, because that's not going to be enough. You will not pass with three sentences of analysis because everybody is going to have the same law. Obviously everyone already had the same facts. So the only thing that's going to distinguish your writing now is going to be your ability to analyze the problem. So talk to me if you're not understanding how to do that yet. Yeah, I, can, I I agree. It's I mean I think it's well well placed offer to to improve your writing. And some of you I know are thinking, well, I'm not in Georgia. What difference does it make? A <laughs> couple of things. One is everybody's writing this. This is just Georgia's just saying this, the the <laughs> stuff that was whispered out loud. That that's really all that's going on. They're not alone in that. We're going to get to another jurisdiction in a minute that's even gone further than they have. But I think it's important to recognize that the Earth is shifting, and the Earth is shifting. It, in an orbit towards what we've been telling you uh, for a long time. And it is confirmation that you just cannot get away with doing the same old silliness that you did in law school. And most of you know that, but there's some of you that are like, you know, hardcore, the earth is flat. And you're going to find out that the earth is not flat very soon. And in addition to that, I'm not sure Georgia is going to be the last state between now and October that decides to go to open book for reasons that we'll get to in a minute. So I think it's really important to be aware of these techniques. We're going to talk to our Georgia students even more about the use of mind maps and how to prepare for the exam. So we don't want you to, you know, we're not leaving you alone, but we're still a long way out from that exam. So I just wanted everybody to know that. But I think this is a huge change, don't you? Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes, like Jackson said, this is not the last you're going to hear about it, so don't don't worry. But yes, there's this has big implications. But I think, fortunately for our students, I think you're in a even better spot as opposed to people who are now having to completely switch the way that they've been studying. You don't have to switch if you've been listening to us the whole way through. You don't need to change anything that you've been doing at this point. You're on the right track. So so that's really good news. <laughs> yes, yeah. You don't have wasted study. 